Hey guys, and thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to go over the way I set up my acrylic portraits, and hopefully it will give you a rough idea of how to work with this type of medium. Before I draw or paint anything, I like to start with painting the canvas a base color, such as yellow ochre or cadmium red, depending on the style you're going for. The reason we shouldn't start a new painting on a white canvas is that white is incredibly bright. It will alter the perception of the colors you put on the canvas, making the colors seem duller than they actually are. I had the mistake of laying down color when the canvas was white and honestly seeing the end result I could see these little dots of white that weren't totally covered up so that was definitely a learning lesson for me. Um, the new color helps judge our paint colors and tones much better as we can see the paint's true colors and brightness when it's not competing against brilliant white. Also a good tip for finding the base color is to look at the portrait's undertones if you're using a reference. After I set a base color for my painting, I'll begin to sketch the portrait. If you're using a reference and find it difficult to draw, I recommend using the grid method as a guide. The grid allows us to help with perspective and it also helps us focus on one box at a time so we're not completely overwhelmed. I will admit I still use this method. I do, however, know how to use the Riley method for portraits, but since I want to concentrate more on the painting aspect, this helps me lay down the drawing faster and more efficient. I do recommend that you really take a drawing class such as Proko on YouTube. Not only is it free, but it, he does a great job showing you the basics, and I absolutely enjoyed his content. So if you're seeing this, Proko, thank you so much. As we begin painting, I'll block in the shadows with a raw umber. This helps to get an idea of where to place the rest of the color. Shadows have darker and lighter tones, never a flat black, although sometimes I do use it if I see that the color is super, super, super dark. Also a little tip to help you is squinting at a shadow will help you see the lights and darks a little bit better. Believe it or not guys, color is not the most important element in a painting. It's more important to get the values right in regards to lights and darks, and honestly, I'm still learning that. Learning the basics of value will significantly improve your painting, and this is what enables you to paint an object such as an apple and give it the illusion of being three-dimensional instead of flat on your canvas. Value also enables you to create the highlight or focal point in your painting by contrasting the light against dark. What I have done for the color is I take the reference picture and I use a drawing app to get an idea of the color scheme. So my favorite tool right now is the color picker to see what kind of colors I need to mix. I never use the original colors of the reference piece. I usually take the photo and mess with the saturation and color levels to fit my color style. This allows me to have a cohesive aesthetic. I also recommend that you find your own color style. I just happen to vibe with a more vibrant color palette. Also, I'm thinking of doing a separate video for color mixing, so if you have any questions that you want me to address about that specific topic, please do in the comments section. Fun little fact, I used to be a big paint by numbers fan, so I have this funny thing about pre-mixing my colors and putting them into little paint by number containers. Does that make it wrong or does that just make me quirky? I guess we'll never know. The only thing I do know is you're an artist and experimenting with what you like is key. What's the worst thing you can do? I guess the worst thing is to mess up a painting, but hey, you can always paint over it. Like Bob Ross said, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. So do your thing. So 
acrylic is a little different than oils. Well, actually, it's a lot different because it dries faster, which makes it hard to blend. So I do recommend painting in layers first. I mean, you could technically blend a little bit, but you got to lay down the colors on fast in order to blend wet on wet. The most important thing about laying down colors is pre-mixing them first. I cannot stress this enough, which is why I would like to do a separate video on it, because there's so much that goes into color mixing. Have you ever wondered why some artists can keep the vibrancy and crispness of their paintings? It's because they've spent hours beforehand pre-mixing. Yes, hours, and I've learned the hard way. I had to do it. And I promise you it will enhance your art significantly. Just do it. Trust me. The more you paint, the better you'll get. So don't get frustrated. Every brush stroke you make gets you closer to where you want to be. And I hope you learned something new on how to paint with acrylics. If I left out anything, please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell for new videos every Monday. I hope you have a beautiful day.